how many messengers came down from Allah as Allah's word and came down as a spirit to be born from a woman? How many messengers? Can you name me another one? Every messenger has show a unique me, Show me where the Quran says the messengers are the word of Allah that came down from Allah to enter their mother's womb and they came down as a spirit. Show me that. I can't show you that directly, but Allah says the likeness of Jesus is to me the likeness of you sure uh, that you want to use that one because okay number one it says adam was created from dust was jesus created from dust yes you mean jesus's mother's womb is dust it says his word which he cast down to mary not to the dust of the earth so was jesus created from dust yes it, uh, okay, let's try this again dust, dust, did it say dust. his word which he cast down to the dust or his word which he cast down to mary Four one seven. So you're saying your Quran is a lie. I quoted your Quran, and you're disagreeing with your Quran. So I'm gonna ask you a third time. Did Jesus come out of dust? Oh, okay. Hear me out. Okay, I'm waiting for you because I'm gonna quote the ayah again. Four one seventy one. Surah An Nisa, ayah one seventy one. Uh, Jesus, His word, which He cast down to Mary. Yes, I agree with that one hundred percent. So, did He come out of dust or from Mary? From Mary. Okay, and Adam was from where? From dust? The, you just yeah. quoted the ayah. He's from dust. Okay, secondly, can you show me where it says Adam is Allah's word, which he cast down to the dust? But isn't can Allah you? saying we said to Adam, uh, be and it is? And Allah didn't say to Adam, be and it is. Because if you go to chapter 38, verses 71, 75, it says Allah created Adam from clay, breathed a spirit into him, and asked the angels oh, to bow. Shit. Let me finish it. And when Iblis said no, then Allah said, you refuse to worship that which I created with my hands? So where did Allah say be to Adam when in 3875 he said, I created Adam with my hands? That's a contradiction. He didn't say be to him. He created him with his hands. All right, you know. Okay. What? All right, okay, man. What do you mean? You know, you guys believe Jews humiliated my prophet Jesus. But Allah said, Wait, no. did the same Jews also humiliate John the Baptist and behead him? Meaning, you know, Herod? My Allah said they didn't kill him, nor did but they But you didn't answer my him. question. The same Quran says many prophets were killed by the Jews. Chapter 2, verse 87. And John the yes. Baptist was humiliated by Herod and was beheaded. Mm -hmm. So how come you're okay with that? That your Allah allowed your prophets to be killed by the Jews and humiliated by them. And even though Herod wasn't technically a Jew, he was ruling the Jews. So it's I mean, okay. It's okay for those prophets to be humiliated by the Jews because Allah said so, but not Jesus. Yeah, you make sense. No, but not from the top five. Oh, but then the top five, Muhammad got poisoned by a Jewish woman. How dare they, Jews, poison my prophet, whom my Allah loves so much, my prophet who said that I still feel the effects of the poison in my aorta, and I feel my aorta being cut off. So a Jewish woman with a lamb killed your prophet dead. How dare have, that Jewish woman shame your prophet who's supposedly the greatest? I have a brilliant answer to that too. I don't care what answer you had. Why did Allah allow it to happen? You know why? Why? Because my prophet Allah Salaam, was given a choice to live or to meet Allah. Oh, so the only way he could die, Jewish. the only way he can die is a Jewish woman poisoning him so he can die the death of an accursed infidel. Makes sense. So he couldn't die any other way. May you I mean, make sense. Yeah, so he couldn't just die in his sleep or die in jihad. He had to die by being poisoned by a Jewish woman eating poison lamb. Man, you make sense. What a I'm ready to take shahada, bro. In fact, I'm going to take my clothes off. I'm going to put it on a stone, hoping that the stone runs so I can follow the example of Musa, alayhi salam. You know, one thing everybody has to agree upon that whenever Jesus Christ will come back, you have to agree that we both will be together with him. No, I don't agree. If you come follow Muhammad, you're going to be under his feet and he's going to send you to everlasting destruction if you don't repent and believe. And that's what we hope. Be saved now because when he comes and you don't confess him now, he will judge you, not save you. Allah you know Allah how Allah happy Allah. Jesus is that I reject Allah and Muhammad and believe that he's a son of God because that's my only hope of salvation. And you know how sad Jesus is when you reject him as a son of God to follow a false prophet? Give me a word. Yeah, John 3.18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe in him 
is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So do you confess Jesus is the only begotten Son of God? Uh, that's something I cannot. So then right now, you stand condemned and you break the heart of Christ. John 3, 36. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on, you, on him. So do you believe the Son? Do you accept the Son? Jesus as the Son? I accept him as prophet. At do least you accept him as the Son? I didn't ask you prophet. It says the Son, the only begotten Son. Do you accept him as the only begotten Son? No. So that means according to the words of Jesus through his holy apostle, God's anger and wrath is on you. And when he comes, you will be destroyed. Oh, you see, this is where the problem oh. is. This is where the I, problem is? I really pray, Ya Allah, guide Sam, guide all Jesus Christians. has guided me. May the eternal Son of God, who loves you, and who created for his glory, guide you and open your eyes. It's time to leave Muhammad. He's done nothing but destroy life and make people like you miserable. Jesus you know, is your help. Right for me, you know that? Say it again. My prophet cried for my forgiveness. You know that, right? He cried? I don't think he was crying for your forgiveness. He was crying for his own sins because he knows he's in trouble. Oh, he was saying, my ummah, my ummah. You yeah, mean Allah, that Allah. silly hadith that shows that your prophet is delusional? Uh, that that same hadith proved my prophet is great. No, it actually proves it, that your prophet is delusional. Jesus. Why? Okay, let me tell you why. So you mentioned that hadith. You're going to... In that hadith, your prophet says, day of judgment, mankind will go before the prophets. They'll go before Adam and ask Adam to intercede. He'll he'll remember his sin, right? And he'll say, nafsi, nafsi, myself, myself, right? Yeah. And then he says, then go to Noah. They go to Noah and Noah remembers that he got Allah angry because he said, that's my son when he wasn't a son. He'll say, nafsi, nafsi, my soul, my soul. Go to Ibrahim. They go to Abraham and Abraham will remember the three times where he lied or the three sins he committed. And then he'll say, Oh, myself, myself, nafsi, nafsi, go to Moses. And they go to Moses, and then Moses remember his sin. He murdered someone, saying, I'm not fit for that. Nafsi, nafsi, myself, myself. Then it says in Hadith, go to Jesus, who is the word of Allah, conveyed to Mary, a spirit from him. And when they go to Jesus, the Hadith says, your prophet says, and he'll mention no sin. Moses mentioned his sin. Abraham mentioned his sin. No mention his sin. Nuah. Noah, Adam mentioned his sin, but it says Jesus mentions no sin. And on top of that, Jesus will still say, I'm not fit for that. Nafsi, nafsi, go to Muhammad. And then it says, the one whom Allah has forgiven both his past and future sins. Can I ask you a question? The prophets before yeah. Jesus were disqualified because they committed sin. In this hadith, your prophet admits Jesus committed no sin. But then Jesus says, Muhammad's past and future sins were forgiven. If these other prophets could not intercede because they were sinners, how the hell does your prophet think he's qualified when he's a sinner and only Jesus is sinless? Do you not know my prophet said no one is more God-fearing than me? He's a liar because Jesus is more God-fearing in the sense that he's perfect, he's sinless. You don't get more God-fearing than when you're absolutely sinless. Oh, don't you know what my prophet said? Don't you know that your prophet buried himself because he said Jesus is sinless? That means there's no one more God-fearing than one who's sinless? My prophet said the best of sinners are those who repent. And uh, even better are those who don't need to repent. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because hold on. Are you saying Gabriel is no good because he doesn't repent because he doesn't commit any sin? He is different. No, you no, see, no, 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 no. It said the best of sinners are those who repent. Well, Iblis sinned, but he yeah, didn't repent, right? Any Muslim. What? He didn't say Muslim. Where did he say Muslim? He said the best of sinners are those who repent. So oh, Iblis no. sinned, but he doesn't repent. Gabriel didn't sin. So who's better? The one who's sinless and doesn't need forgiveness or the one who sins and breaks the law and needs to be forgiven? Hadith, Allah said, if humans were not to commit sin, I would have wiped that's them why, out. That's why your Allah is Satan. Because that hadith shows Allah is evil. He's going to destroy perfect people so he can replace them with sinful people so he can be merciful. Where's the justice in this? If I go to a judge, if I go to a judge and I am sinless and you're filthy, and the judge says, because you are sinless, I'm going to throw you in jail and kill you because I want someone wicked so I can then forgive him. What are you going to say about that judge? Look, there. What are you going to say about that judge? 